Shri Gurubiyo Namaha children, we welcome to our online teaching academy Ekkalaiva. Hi children, how are you? All are fine? Yes. Children, today you are going to learn the new lesson, okay? What is the name of the lesson? Or wonderful brain, okay? And you all know about brain, no? The most important part of our body is brain and brain connects all the nerves in our body no it is it act as the central nervous system okay it is giving command to the all the nerves and to all the parts okay to act whatever the action we do because of brain brain tells us to do the message you go here go there like that it will give some command like a computer shall we move to the lesson children yes What does our brain do and what are nerves? Let us read and find out, okay? Actually, in this lesson, we are going to read what is brain and what is what are the nerves and why brain is very important. We are going to see in this lesson. Aruna's mother, okay? Here in this lesson, Aruna and Aruna's mother is the main character, okay? And uh, Aruna is coming from the school and she is calling her mother to, uh, she is teasing her, that is she is telling her mother that uh, her friend, okay, teased her like uh, she don't have brain. So, she is coming and telling the information to the Aruna's mom, mothers of, uh, mother of Aruna, okay. And what she is telling, you come here, I will explain about the brain and she started telling about the brain, okay. Aruna's mother is working on the computer in her room and Aruna rushes in angrily, okay. What happened now? Aruna's mother is working on the computer. She is doing some work in the computer and Aruna came from the school and she is coming rushing, okay. And she is coming with angrily, okay. Because her friend teased him, teased her, uh, that is she, she, is, she don't have brain like, okay. So, she is coming and commanding that is coming and uh, complaining to her mom okay and you can see the picture here mother of course you do all creatures have brains and you have a very good one and she is coming and asking since she is a small girl she is asking her mother mommy my friend is telling that I don't have a brain what to do ma'am what should I say like that she is asking and what the Mother is replying to her, of course, all the creatures, okay, whatever the creatures are there in the earth, we have brain. That brain is the wonderful part of our body, okay. Without brain, we don't function, we will not function without a brain. And Aruna, do cockroaches and flies have brains too? And what she is asking, the second question is she is asking her mother that whether cockroaches, flies, and other animals, they have brains too. Like that she is asking a question. Mother, yes, they do. However, theirs is not as big or as clever as horse. What she is replying, they also have brain, but their brain is not big as our human being brain. Okay. And they are not clever like human being. Like that she is giving some information. And Aruna, why is my brain clever? She is asking the question, why my brain is very clever? What do you mean by that? Like that, okay? Mother, your brain helps you learn things and remember them. It collects information. It also gets messages from different parts of the body about what is happening inside you and around you. Then it sends messages to the different parts of the body telling them what to do. Okay, actually what brain will do? It will give the message, it will send the command. You do this, you take this, you lift this and if uh, any mosquito bite you, what will do? Immediately it will give the command that lift your arm and scratch. Okay, or you just move that mosquito. Like that it will give some command and all the messages are coming from the brain. Brain gives the message to the, through the nerves. Okay. Aruna, hmm, I didn't understand that. Can you explain me more? I can't, ex I can't understand what you are telling. Can you explain briefly? She is asking. 
mother well suppose a mosquito bites you on the neck the nerves in the neck send us something is biting message to the brain your brain decides what should be done if it thinks the bite should be scratched it sends a message to harm and and asking it to lift itself and scratch the bite okay and she is giving an mother uh, aruna is asking can you tell me briefly about the brain you are telling that brain is very clever can you give me an example and aruna's mother is giving an example that if a insect is biting you what will do immediately her brain will send a message to all the parts through nerves okay just if mosquito is biting you just lift your hand and scratch so like that it is giving a command through nerves aruna what are nerves and she is asking the next question what are nerves what do you mean by nerve mother nerves are special cells that are quite long they connect different parts of your body to the brain actually nerves are special cells cell means what it is like all the tissues make a cell so uh, nerve is nothing but a special cell in our body and which is quite long okay like a wire how a wire will be there it will be so long no like that all the nerves will be like a wire so long and they connect different parts of your body to the brain nerves connect all the parts of our body and to the brain okay they let the brain receive and send messages or information to the different parts of the body they are like the wires in your computer that take the information you type on the keyboard to its memory actually brain is like a computer okay in computer what you will do if you type anything on the keyboard what the computer will do cpu is the brain of the computer okay cpu it takes the input from the keyboard and it sends the it process that information and uh, it stores the information in the memory okay so memory is nothing but like a brain see how we store the information we store the information in our brain okay so likewise computer also what it will do it will store the information it is having a memory okay so like a computer we are storing our information in the memory in a brain okay and they are like wires nerves are like wires they what wires will do that take the information you type on the keyboard to its memory wires will take the message and it will take to the memory like that nerves will send the message okay and it will take to the brain okay the computer then sorts of the information and tells you what to do with it what do you mean by sorts out sorts of this nothing but arrange arranging okay or sorting out or uh, segregating okay that is called sort sort what happened the computer then sorts of the information and tells you what to do with it okay immediately if you type anything in the computer okay through the keyboard what will what will be done uh, the wires from the keyboard it will take the message to the memory no then it takes the sort out means it arrange the information and it tells you what to do with it what to do according to the command the computer will act okay for example if you want to add what will happen the computer will do the process of addition okay aruna is the brain a computer and now she is asking the another question is the brain a computer whether brain is a computer like that she is asking what do you think children whether brain is a computer what do you think yeah it is like a computer but it is not like computer more than that okay brain is more uh, important part of our body computer means it do it does whatever we say okay but brain what it will think we and we will uh, through the brain we will dream we have to think no but computer will not do such things if we give command only computer will do such things
okay children thank you children to receive our online lessons please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates